welcome back guys and this is section 5.3 previously we solved the part a of this question number 20 and we have shown you guys that how to implement or uh, represent any logic expression by using the NAND gate because of the universal property of the NAND gate uh, today we are going to solve this part b and here we can see that uh, how many inputs do i have so the number of inputs we have are a b c d 4 so let me first write them here so let me start writing them here so a b c d and this is part b okay let me mention it here as well and uh, after i let me draw the input lines so this is one two three four or a b c d uh, what i have to do i am going to solve it by using the same uh, method which i have previously done so this is a complement dot b and this is a complement c d so i have to complement a first so let me complement this first uh, a by using the NAND gate and the two inputs are combined together this is given here and at the output of it i will get a complement okay uh, so the first product here is a dot b so let me use the same uh, product here and the same thing here and that is the two NAND gates okay the first one is here while the second one is the inverter which is like this one okay I have told you that all of this uh, is basically the uh, example of the AND gate which I have previously explained in a separate video okay so after it what I have to do I have to I have to basically give the input to them as the what this is a complement and the second one here is b so the output of it will be a complement dot b okay the second product is a complement uh, cd so for it i have to use the three input nand gate okay so one two three and this output is again given to another nand gate for the inversion purposes and uh, therefore the three inputs to it are this is a complement uh, the second one is the c the third one here is d so the output of it will be what a complement c d okay so this is the so what is this this a these are basically the two products which i have to add and then take the complement of them so again using the same adder because this is the addition so using the same adder by using this NAND gate this is a first NAND gate this is the second NAND gate the two inputs are uh, basically combined together and this these inputs are given to them okay and at the output of it these are now given to the inverter okay so now here these are now given to this NAND gate okay so here what I will get the output of it will be what that would be a complement dot b plus a complement c d okay so uh, as here we have these uh, whole complement as well so therefore I have to use another inverter here as well so this will invert it and at the output of it what I will get I will get a complement dot b plus a complement c d and this is what this is the answer of part uh, B here in which I have implemented the overall circuit which was mentioned here by using the NAND circuit and that is here okay so uh, that is the solution for part B with us in which we have seen that sorry this is the whole complement here as well sorry I have made a mistake so the uh, whole complement here as well because of this NAND gate as well so uh, this is the solution for part B in which I have explained and showed all the steps which are used for converting any of the logic circuits into the in the form in which NAND gates are used okay so that's it for today in which, in which I have uh, solved question 20 and I will solve more questions like this in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon